Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving an assignment question. Uh, and this is the question. Apply phasor domain analysis to solve the following. Determine voltage VAT for the circuit shown below. So this is the circuit. And apparently, uh, the student uh, got puzzled seeing the circuit otherwise it's not difficult so let's let's try three first of all we convert all the terms into phases and as you have learned earlier also that 20 cosine 250 t can be written as the magnitude 250 and angle zero in the phasor form so this one will be 20 angle 0. Similarly, the other term, the source, 1.2 cosine 250 T plus 45 will be magnitude 1.2 and angle 45. This one. Then the uh, inductor, uh, 36 millihenry can be converted into J omega H, not, not H, but L, J omega L. So J250 into 36 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 will give us J9. So this will be J9. And similarly, the other one, 80 milli Henry, will be J20. And the capacitor, uh, although in most books the formula is 1 over J omega C, but I prefer this formula, minus J divided by omega C. Uh, this makes life easier. So omega 250 and uh, C is 0.25 millifarad. Solving, we get minus J16. Okay, then we also change, this is in time domain, so we change it into phasor domain, VA. And similarly, the dependent source also will become for VA. So this will be our circuit. And apparently, you can solve it by several methods. This is one mesh if you want to uh, solve by mesh method. This is another mesh. And this is the third mesh. But here, if you recall, if there is a current source between two source, then this will become a super mesh. So this portion, you have to deal with the super mesh. And this is normal mesh. I find it that the nodal analysis is much easier. And for that, a couple of things I have done. I have added a ground here at the bottom. And this voltage VA will also be the node voltage. And this is actually one node. So we just consider it one node because it's a short circuit. Call it VA. And then we have marked the current direction. You can choose any current direction as long as you write the voltage equation correctly. I have chosen all of them going in, entering in. So we have decided that we'll use nodal analysis. And by KCL, we can write the current equations. All current entering is equal to zero current leaving. And now the formula that converting the currents into voltage, the, I'm starting from the basics. Those of you who have already learned, they can just follow your own method. But the basic is that since this current is flowing from ground to VA, therefore we'll write zero minus VA. And then there's a voltage source here. So what will be the direction? Will it be plus or will it be minus? For that, there is an easy technique that if you take a current source out from the positive terminal and see that this current source is the same direction as the main current, therefore we'll use plus sign for this. So we're using plus sign for uh, 20. And then we divide by the impedance, 8 plus J9. Similarly here, 0 minus VA divided by minus J16. This 
is current source, so we'll just write it as it is. And I4 will write again 0 minus VA. And this dependent current source also has a positive at the top. That means the current out from here will be in the upward direction, which will be the same as I4 direction. And therefore, we'll write it with a plus sign. So plus 4 VA. Yeah, and then we'll simplify. We ignore the 0. We divide this into two parts. And similarly, this one will be minus VA plus 4 VA will be 3 VA. So this is the equation uh, uh, that we have. Now we'll arrange it further. That is, we, this was the equation. So we collect all the VA terms on one side and the constant terms on the other side. And taking VA common, we get uh, this equation. We're calling it equation number 1. Now, the proper method of solving is, I'll just give one example, and that is, you have to convert this, this we're dividing for division, we have to have in polar form. So, we convert this into polar form, and similarly, all others. And then, you divide this, so this is the answer in polar form. And since we have to add the other terms, therefore we have to convert it back into the rectangular form. So this is how uh, you have to do. Now I'll tell you a technique through which you can avoid these two steps if you want. And that is, we'll show in the next page. We were here. We'll use the calculator in complex mode. And you can write it uh, in your uh, answer sheet so your teacher knows how you have done this shortcut. So using calculator in complex mode, we will get all these answers. So let me show you one. Calculator, you have to go to the mode, two for complex. So we are in complex mode. And now we will solve this one. So let's go to the fraction part. Numerator we have minus one. And denominator we write eight plus eight plus j nine or nine i. In uh, here instead of j we'll write i. And that is with the engineering we'll press this. So minus one, eight plus j nine. You go ahead. And we put equal signs. So this is the answer. Now this answer is in fractions. To bring it to decimal, we press SD. And now you can see the answer is minus 0 0.055. So minus 0 0.055. And plus 0 0.062i. So we'll write J0.62. Exactly the same way. You will have to write all these and then and just to show you that in the previous slides by following three steps we got the same answer here we're just getting it directly okay so we are here and then now we'll add all the real terms and the imaginary terms so adding the real and imaginary the left side we have this term and the right hand side uh, minus term. And now, to since we have to divide, we convert this into uh, a polar form. And in complex mode, also, although you can't directly go uh, solve the polar button here, you press polar button, you will get nothing. You're just getting the plus sign. So. To convert into polar, what we have to do, we write this term, that is minus 0 0.055 minus 0 0.15i. So we have entered this first term. And we will go to the complex mode. If you press the equal sign, you will get the same thing. So for 
polar we have to go to complex mode so shift and complex here now this complex shift complex and it is asking what do you want so we want polar that is r theta 3 like 3 and the answer is 0 0.159 0 0.1597 and angle is minus 110.1 and similarly this right side you can do and now VA is a division of the two and uh, if you just follow the same rule clear this division button 1.987 for angle we have to go to shift and this is the angle sign angle sign 168.7 168.7 the numerator done denominator is 0 0.1597 shift angle minus one one zero minus one one zero point one okay equal so we get this answer this is in a, a rectangular form so we need to go to polar form so from here again we were in rectangular form so we'll go to shift complex three equal sign the so 12.44 and this angle is in a fraction we press sd button so we get minus 81.2 so this is how uh, you can i hope it is simplified form by using the uh, complex mode of the calculator now I'll tell you a technique. Okay, from here you can write now that this this was in phasor domain. In time domain, the answer will be VAT twelve point four two or four four. Then cosine two fifty was uh, uh, the signal given two fifty omega t minus this angle eighty one point two or two four. Okay. Now there is another method. This obviously, if you follow this, uh, your teacher will not give you marks. But this is for your own verification of your answer. Quick method, I hope so. What we are doing is we just uh, this was the equation one. So from here we divide this by the term, and now you can use the calculator to get this answer, and from here final answer. So let me again show you now here now we'll enter this so first of all this button back to get larger bracket i'll put it here now in the numerator if you write minus 20 angle zero you will get an error because with the angle you cannot write minus one way is that you write 20 angle 180 plus or angle 1 uh, minus 180. The other way is that since this angle is 0, yeah. therefore, even if we neglect it, it does not matter. So we'll do that. So we we'll just write minus 20 at the numerator and the denominator is 8 plus j9, so 8 plus 9i. So this is the first term of the numerator then we go to negative sign and this is simple so no fraction 1.2 1.2 angle 45 shift angle 45 bracket close so the numerator is done now i'll put a division sign to go to the denominator for the same technique this one I have to get big bracket we go early one step put bracket the large bracket we have got and then we go to the numerator minus one minus one 
denominator is 8 plus j9 so 8 plus 9 i first term is done then we go to the second term again fraction sign 1 divided by j 16 i 16 i and then plus sign fraction sign third term is 3 numerator divided by 20 i so all the three terms are done close the bracket and then we should get answer equal sign so the answer is 1.89 and this is minus 12.28 and again if you go to complex from here complex 3 equal to 12.42 and angle is minus 81.24 so this is uh, at least you can use this to verify your answer in just one step i hope you have been able to follow this and from here again we can write in the time domain please let me know through your feedback thank you